what's up guys so um, today I want to show you how to work with Excel um, data files uh, specifically in QTP and I'll show you how to import Excel data to your uh, QTP projects and we're gonna see how to create your own runtime uh, data tables and how to see all your data uh, that's uh, from your Excel to your QTP. So let's get started. So first, let me show you what I have already on my uh, computer. I have uh, documents that save on uh, my. I have uh, an Excel document that hold two data sets. Actually, I have data one and data two, and I have. Um, basically I have three data just to show you how to import that data to your uh, QTP projects so let me close that and then let's go back to the QTP the first thing we do is we're creating a runtime data okay so in QTP basically we're gonna create a runtime data table that will be only available whenever we run our script that's why they call it runtime data table so to create that uh, first type data table dot add shape so I need to create that shape and I need to give it a name I'll call it test data one I'll call it test one perfect so the next thing I want to do is let me uh, make it a little bigger so that you can see it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to import uh, my Excel data to this uh, runtime data table. So I want to import Excel data to run runtime data table. All right. So I, what I do data table dot import shift so I can get the, the intelligence from here it's telling me I need to get the file the file name basically that's the file path and I need to specify the source worksheet and I need to specify the destination so file path uh, I already have it on my desktop let me go there I'll make a right click on it and use the shift to get the copy of the path, I go back and paste it right here. So after that, I need to specify the source worksheet. So it's on my uh, my worksheet one on my Excel table, and then I need to specify the destination worksheet. Basically, by default, we have two worksheet, and this will be my third one. I can specify the name, or I can put just number three. So I put number three. So now I just imported the Excel work data to my um, uh, QTP runtime data table. So let me uh, quickly run this um, script and show you my uh, runtime data table. So now I QTP run and let me go to my um, run results to show you. I go to view, I go to data, and there you go. I have my data data table imports to my uh, uh, project so next thing I want to see the values basically uh, just want to pull up the values so um, so I want to make read the values uh, run time data table. that's what I want to do now so it's easy so I do data table that value and then I need to give the parameter ID parameter ID basically is the column header name for example for this one parameter ID is a B so uh, let me show you let me go back to my uh, run results and show you my data table so that you can tell me what's my parameter so what's my parameter ID for this uh, data Runtime data table for the first one. Yep, you got it. It's data one and data two for this uh, second part. So what I'll do is make sure that on this section it has 
the input should be uh, string values and make sure you type the right way otherwise if you miss type if you make uppercase lowercase you probably have some problem with it make sure you type it away showing on your runtime directive so the next thing I need to specify uh, the worksheet so as you can see that it's worksheet 3 there you go so I need to assign it to a variable so I will say my value is equal to that I with that value so let me see my first value on that table oh my bad I need to do message box my value so let me run it number 12 that's my first data so uh, that's good so the next thing I want to do is uh, I want to create a loop to see all the, to see all the data right so I want to see all the data inside my table so I want to create a for loop so that it can iterate through the uh, through the script so that I can see all the values so to do that first thing that I'll do is I want to find out how many rows that this script should iterate right so I need to data table uh, I want to get that worksheet I can uh, get shit and I can specify which worksheet I'm talking I'm working on I can I'm talking about sheet 3 and I want to get get row count so, so this will give me for example if I uh, assign a value to this one for let's say row count is equal to equal to data table get sheet 3 row count so let me do message box so row count so that should give me size of my rows. How many rows that I have? My I have only three rows. Perfect. So after that, uh, let me uh, start my for loop. My iterator will be i, and I want to iterate from i to row count. That means three times. So first thing I want to do is I want to set my uh, current um, row. So I do data table dot set current row. So now I'll set my current row, which is my first row, to be i. So that you start from the current row, because that's why I try to start my iteration start from number one. So what should be the next one? should I trade and sign a value so I want to see my data table that value should be data one that's what I want to see at this point and it should be from the worksheet tree and I want to sign this value to let me say my value. Actually, I already have it up here. So let me, let me delete that. My value be. And then after that, I can do a message box to see my value. So, so let me. Uh, up this one a little bit so we will iterate from one up to row count which will give me uh, three we should iterate three times and give me my value into a message box so, so let me run it and see how this works so 12 okay 32 okay 326 perfect so if I want to see for that at two all I have to do is make it two run it Two, two, twenty-one. Perfect. So that's it. Thank you, guys.